galactic, I am radiant, I am defined, I am electric, I am lunar, I am magnetic, I am planetary, I am balanced, I am organized, I am connected, I am inspiring, I am in harmony, I am integrity, I am perfect, I am manifestation, I am dissolving, I am releasing, I am liberated, I am dedicated, I am universalized, and dawning, and transcendent, I am being.
great exercise. <laughs> I'm sweating, you see. I love it. And thank you. I love you. Thank you, TEDx. <laughs> what keeps me going <laughs> like your applause and your energy back you're giving me that's 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 the food for a performer artist yeah I'm a yeah professional hula hoop dancer teacher and I'm traveling around the world performing and teaching and I also make hula hoops not this not these LED ones, but for adults and for kids, like a little bit thicker with glitter tape and yeah, they're very pretty. <laughs> what did I do before I hula hooped? So yeah, I asking myself sometimes that also. But it was actually for just five and a half year I find hula hooping. And when I got to share some things with you, when I was 17, I was actually a drug dealer. Yeah, I was misusing quite heavy drugs. Um, yeah, <laughs> I went to rehab. <laughs> yeah, some people should never guess that. So, but um, yeah, I went to rehab. I was there for one year. That was absolutely the worst thing I've been going through in my life, but also the best. I got the time to look inside myself. I got the time to actually, hmm, yeah, what I'm looking for is actually myself. So I start to get the interest for yoga. There's where my flexibility is coming from. Anyway, uh, <coughs> I came out on the rehab and after school, I was like directly going out and traveling. I had a very light backpack and I looked on the, on the map and where do I go? Mexico. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. So I went to Mexico alone. Yeah, I was 19. I backpacked down to Guatemala and there I saw this beautiful hippie Rastafari girl playing with the hula hoop. I was like, wow, that's so beautiful. I want to learn that. So I started to practice. I didn't have anything else really to do, so why not? <laughs> I hula hooped and I looked at YouTube videos. What's she doing? Okay, ah, okay, I tried. Ah, ah yeah, I made it. Ah, another one. So it was YouTube that was teaching me. And <clears throat> I went back home. Home in that time was Oslo. I had my, had my base there and started to do street performance. That was my first um, performance I did. And yeah, people stopped by and they smiled and they said sweet, nice compliments to me. And they also gave me money in the hat. So yeah, I realized, hmm, this is quite fun. I can earn my own money. Plus people, I make people happy by doing something that I love to do and finding very naturally. Good combo. So I kept doing this. I went to parties, some festival, and I started to sew my costumes and putting crazy makeup on me. And I could just put all my creativity into the hoop. Like, yeah, that was really, and it's really fun. And suddenly I was on a festival in Erland and I just had a fire performance. I doing this with fire also. And <laughs> yeah, I, I just had some scar here somewhere from Lisa Barry, the last days. Um, that's, yeah, that's including in the work. Anyway, and it came up a 45-ish, yeah, year old man and said to me after the show, like, this is the most beautiful thing I've been seeing my whole life. And when he said it, I really felt that he meant it. And then I was thinking, wow, if I can, if I can give this 45 year old man the most beautiful experience he had in his whole life, that must mean that I should keep doing this. And also that this is not only entertainment, it's not only a show, it's something, it's something more. There was in that point I like really started to take responsibility. 
I started to respond on my ability. Mm, responsibility. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's quite an interesting word when we break it down. Life can be very simple, but I promise I also uh, make it very complicated sometimes. But at least I have my hoop then. It's glittery, plastic, sometimes it's bling bling and sometimes fire. But it's a hoop, it's a circle. And as infinity, the hoop is, is also the possibility to move and dance with the hoop. When I started to invent my own hula hoop trick, I'm like, wow, wow, what was that? Okay, I try that again. Then I also, I started to see circles like everywhere. That must mean for me that there is endless of possibilities of what we can create in life as well. Yeah, I think how it changed the world is to connect what makes you really happy and what makes you shine. And then you're changing the rest of the world because we are a part of the hoop of life. Thank you.